Hi, it's Hope and welcome to the video. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be my August TBR. And first let's do a little recap of last month. So I managed to read, this is as of the 28th, I've managed to read all of the books on my TBR except for Salvation by Karen Licks and I'm currently reading Some Girls Do by Jennifer Duggan but that will be finished before the end of the month because I have three days to read like 150 pages so that's more than doable so no punishments. So no punishments means eight picks um, and how this works is I pick eight Jenga prompts and then a, a book corresponds to the prompt and that's how I do my TBR. So let's just get right into it. If I need to read the description of a book, I will just pull it up on Goodreads on my phone and read it because a few of them I might have to. Um, so yeah, let's just start with pick number one. Okay, so here's the tower. I'm well aware it's leaning this way. It also feels super unstable this month. And also, I have sh I'm like shaking for some reason. I hate that I have to bend over like this, but we'll do it. So, eight picks. Talked about that earlier. So, let's start with pick number one. Actually, first, I want to clarify anything from this row up is not allowed because it was last month's pick. So, pick number one. Um... Okay, this one I guess. Okay, a blue cover. So a book that has a predominantly blue cover, I would say half the cover-ish is a blue color. A third maybe. As long as if you look at the cover and go, that has blue on it, I say it counts. So for blue cover, this one I had so many different options I could pick. Multiple of the options that I picked that for the rest of the picks could have also fit for, this, fit for this. But I'm picking Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Illuminate Files series. The first book being Illuminate, which I read in July. Illuminate, essentially, we are... It's a sci-fi where... I always struggle to describe Illuminate. Where it's essentially... Um, this colony has been attacked by a um, company and... They are rescued, and in the process, on one of the three spaceships, a mysterious illness breaks out, which causes things to be kept under wraps and all of that, and it takes um, Caddy and her ex-boyfriend Ezra to figure out what's going on and, underco and undercover the truth, because the head of the spaceships were keeping it a secret. That's kind of the r the rough gist of it, um, and it's told in mixed media. And for Gemina, I plan on li reading it physical book and audiobook. I have the um, audiobook through my library and then the physical book through my library. I just need to go pick up the book. Um, so that's what I'm going to be reading for blue cover. I Pick number two. Okay. Okay. A contemporary, so just a contemporary novel. For contemporary, I'm picking If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich. This technically does not come out until December 7th, but I have an arc through Net Galley. Um, and essentially this, we follow a boy band called Saturday, and two of the members, Ruben and Zach, form a relationship and they have to keep it a secret to kind of keep the look of the band kind of type thing and it's them having to like figure out how they can go publicly with this relationship and all that and that's kind of the gist of it like that's pretty much all I know I pretty much heard queer um boy band and was just like okay sure um and again this doesn't come out till december 7th but i'm so excited to read this because i don't know like when i got literally when i got the arc i literally cried 
but that was a few months ago and I just haven't been able to get it on my TBR so I was like I need to read this it's going on my TBR pick number three okay that came out very easy LGBTQ plus for LGBTQ I'm picking Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Aliri Sanez I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right let me know in the comments below um, this is a obviously it's a queer um, YA book I'm going to just read the description Aristotle is an angry teen with a brother in prison Dante is a know-it-all who has an unusual way of looking at the world when the two meet and meet at the swimming pool they s seem to have nothing in common but as the loners start spending time together they discover that they share a special friendship the kind that changes lives and lasts a lifetime. And it is through the friendship that that Ari and Dante will, will learn the most important truth about themselves and the kind of people they want to be. And this is a, it's a well-known book. And the only reason that I'm reading this is because I kind of jokingly through NatGalley requested um, book two, which is Aristotle and Dante dive into the waters of the world I kind of like jokingly was like oh yeah let's request it because I want to read this book and I got it and I'm like oh shit I now have to um and this one I think I'm going to request for my library um to get a physical copy but I'm unsure of yet if I'm going to do that I'm, that's what I'm kind of leaning towards but I'm really excited for this because I've only heard good things and like I literally cannot think of a single bad thing I've heard about this book. Pick number four. Okay. An orange cover. For orange cover, I'm picking Iron Widow by Zyron J. Zhao. I think that is how the name is pronounced. Um, and this doesn't come out until... September 21st, but I have an arc through Nat Galley. I'm trying to get through a bunch of my, my arcs over these next few months. Um, but I'm going to read the description because I don't really know much about this. Like, I know about it, but I can't really describe it. So, pardon me if I pronounce anything wrong, um, but let's just go. The boys of Huxia dream of pairing up with girls to pilot Chrysalis's giant transforming robots that can battle the mecha aliens that lurk beyond the Great Wall. It doesn't matter that the girls often die from the, met from the mental strain. When 18-year-old Zatan offers herself as a concubine pilot, it is to assassinate the, the ace male pilot responsible for her sister's death. She gets her vengeance in a way nobody expected. She kills him through the, the psychic link between pilots and emerges from the cockpit up. Cock hit unscape. She's labeled an Iron Widow, a, mu a much feared and much silenced kind of female pilot who can sacrifice boys to power up chrys chrysalises instead. To tame her unnerving yet in invaluable mental strength, she is paired up with Lee, Sh Lee Shimin, the strongest and most controversial male pilot in Huxia. But now that Zatane has the, the taste of power, she will not cower so easily. She will miss no opportunity to leverage their combined might and infamy to, to attempt to survive. An infamy to survive attempt after attempt on her life. She has until she can figure out exactly why the pilot system works in its misogynist ways and, and stop more girls from being sacrificed. And one thing that I do really like about this is that it is um, it, something that the author says in like a review is of how it is um it's poly it's a ya poly so our main character has a boyfriend and then another boyfriend but then the boyfriends are also boyfriends and i'm just like anything queer and also it's it's like sci-fi it's like I, i've been recently getting into sci-fis like wanting to read sci-fis and this i'm like it sounds so good that's like all i have to say and also any like i i follow the author on twitter so anything fan art wise or anything like that i'm like i want to read it so i'm finally going to get to read it it was on my july like extended tbr like one that i don't include in my videos but unfortunately i didn't get to it pick number five halfway through 
Why'd I do that? That's now on one. A reread. Oh, this one might be difficult because there isn't really any books I want to reread. Hmm. For reread, at first I was like, there's no, there's really no books I want to reread. What would I reread? But then, Persuasion of Deceit by Tony Wall came to mind because I, it will be a reread for me because I beta read the book back in May, April, May. Um, can't remember. I think it was May, and really liked it. And all, and now I'm part of the Arc team, so I need to write a review of it. Um, so Persuasion of Deceit. We follow um, Raven um, and her father and her father's best friend, who is also the king's general, are plotting a ploy to kill the king because um, the king has powers to essentially like control your mind and force you to do things against your will. And nobody really likes that. He's a very evil king. Um, so when Raven and her friends join her father in this plan, Things kind of go from there, and it's very good. Like it's, I'd say it's a solid 4.5. So I'm, I, I'm really excited to reread it to kind of like almost like see it from a different life, like instead of reading it critically for a beta reader, reading it for enjoyment. Um, and it's really good. This cover is gorgeous. And I really enjoyed it the first time I read it, so a reread. Yeah, I'll do that. Pick number six. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. A 2020 release, so a book that was released in 2020. For a 2020 release, I was like, "There's I, what 2020 releases do I want to read? And there were so many that I was like, not really in the mood for. But then, this book. Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and J. Kristoff. I'm reading two Amy Kaufman and J. Kristoff books this month, but from two separate series. Um, and this one I borrowed from my library. Um, I borrowed this from my library before making the decision to like request Gemina um but essentially um Aurora Burning is the second book in the Aurora Cycle series the first book being Aurora Aurora Rising Jesus Christ I can't speak um where essentially we follow squad 312 as um we run this like academy like space academy and the squads are put together and the leader Tyler Jones kind of gets a run-of-the-mill like very crappy t um, squad because he missed graduation and went out and saved this girl named uh, named Aurora and that kind of leads into this bigger plot and I absolutely love the first one I gave it a solid four star I think it like I I'm so excited to see where it goes um, from the ending because the ending was one that was like oh shit um and i'm really excited i really loved um like squad 312 and just their banter between everybody and all of that pick number seven. Oh no i've started pushing that one and it's i thought the tower was gonna go down a beautiful cover, so just a cover that I think is beautiful. This one's kind of subjective. For beautiful cover, I'm going with A Queen Comes to Power by C.C. Panoranda, and this um, is released on the 10th of August. Um, so obviously I won't be able to read it until later in the month. But um, A Queen Comes to Power is the sequel to An Air Comes to Rise, and An Air Comes to Rise, we follow Faith, who is a human in this world and they are more they are more in control than humans and essentially faith essentially has to prove to herself that she's kind of like not worthy but that she can do stuff um by learning to fight and learning and training with a guard named nick named nix 
I think that's how the name is pronounced. Um, and that's kind of the basics of it while she also learns these abilities that she shouldn't have but she has. Um, and where we ended off with the first book, I'm really excited to see where this book goes. And this is one that in my August release video I said I was going to get on my TBR and I did obviously. And pick number 8, the final pick, unless this tower goes down. Oh no, I have to pick with that one. This one moved and I thought the tower was going to go down. And continuous series, which is perfect because I have so many series started that I'm dying to continue or like finish. And then for continuous series, I'm going to be reading Wild Card by Marie Lu, and this is the second and final book in the Warcross duology. Um, I started this series back in December, and I'm finally getting around to reading Wild Card. But Warcross, we follow um, Amiko, who is a um, hacker in this game called Warcross, and it's a virtual reality platform slash game and when she um, hacks into this opening tournament for this like world tournament she then gets kind of recruited by the um, creator of Warcross um, to come and work for the games to help find these other hackers that are causing harm versus she was just kind of lurking and just all of that and that's kind of what it's about um I am dying to read this I don't know why I didn't read it sooner because the betrayal at the end and that plot twist and that like oh shit moment in the end of Warcross was so good and also I'm just so excited to read this oh my gosh so yeah so that's my TBR. There, there are, there. Blah, 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 I can't speak. There are a few other books that I'd like to read this month. Like I wouldn't mind um, finishing off the Zeros trilogy by reading Nexus by Scott Westerfield, uh, Deborah Biancotti, and Margot Lanigan. I had to look over there to like see the authors on the spine. Um, that's kind of like the only other book I'd love to read this month. Um, but that one's not a part of my TBR, therefore if I don't read it, that's fine. I do also go back to work on the 16th, so I'm wanting to try to get as much of the books read in the first half of the month when I don't have to work. Like, I don't have to work, I don't have to do schoolwork, I literally just get free time. Well, free time I'm going to be writing, but I don't need to, I have more time to read, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get this TBR done, but I'm saying this now, if I don't get this TBR done, I am not going to give myself punishments, although I'm pretty sure I will get it finished, but I'm just stating that now, like if say for example I have two books that I didn't get to read, that's fine. Obviously if I only get one book read, then hell yeah I'm giving punishments, but if it's like, oh I have two books that I didn't read, I'm not going to give myself punishments, because I'm going back to work, yes only part time. But still, like, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be working multiple hours a day on top of YouTube, on top of writing. It's going to be a little stressful at first. No punishment this month, unless I royally don't finish it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your TBR in the comments below. And let me know what, what books from this list you've read, which ones you're interested in, and just your, overall your thoughts on these books. I love to hear that in the comments below. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, and... Bye!